Thank you for inviting us here today. I'm Hyunsun Park, and I'm working as a researcher in Kanjin. I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce Kanjin. We're trying to make a new paradigm in the cosmetic market with our main innovative technology, which is topical botulinum toxin. Botulinum toxin, also known as Botox, is a neurotoxin secreted from Clostridium botulinum, and its size is about 150 kilodalton. This neurotoxin is widely used both in medical field and cosmetic field, and that is because of its unique mechanism of action. Botulinum toxin works specifically at cholinergic neuron and it cleaves snare protein to block exocytosis of acetylcholine. When the exocytosis of acetylcholine is blocked, it causes muscle paralysis and re muscle relaxation. Currently, all the botulinum toxin products on the market are used in the form of injection, so the patients have to just bear the pain of being injected. Besides the pain, the injection of botulinum toxin can be dangerous, um, especially when it is ex inje accidentally injected into the vein. So we question why does botulinum toxin always have to be in the injection form, which makes it very difficult to treat, especially neckline. And is there any other way to um, be beautiful in a more natural way? In fact, developing topical botulinum toxin is quite difficult. Because of its big size, um, the protein does not penetrate under the skin. For transcutaneous delivery, many researchers have tried the physical methods, but we believe that these physical methods can cause skin irritation. So is there any other way to deliver botulinum toxin uh, under the skin in a non-invasive manner? In order to do so, we developed our novel cell penetrating peptide, uh, which we named as a cargo delivery peptide. Cell penetrating peptide is a very short peptide, which can penetrate um, cell membrane. And when it is conjugated, it can deliver the cargo into the cell in a non-invasive manner. There was preliminary research that conjugated the light chain of botulinum toxin with the cell penetrating peptide uh, for transcutaneous delivery. So we decided to develop our novel cell penetrating peptide, uh, which allows transcutaneous delivery of botulinum toxin. We analyzed pre-research CPP to find optimal characteristic and protein sequence and have developed 13 new CPPs and named as cargo del delivery peptide. We tested our novel um, cargo delivery peptide with known CPPs in silico, and as a result, all CDPs showed greater cell penetrating ability compared to known CPPs. In order to confirm the cargo delivery of CDPs, uh, we have conjugated CDPs with green fluorescent protein and applied on a mouse skin. As a result, compared to the known CPPs, at, such as TAT and TD1, our novel CDP showed greater tissue penetration in vivo. After confirming the cargo delivery ability, we constructed botulinum toxin and CDP conjugate and have done in vitro study to confirm its cell penetration ability. In vitro experiment showed that our topical BT protein successfully penetrated human skin cell um, such cell penetration was not shown when BT was conjugated with other um, CPP such as TD1. Similar to in vitro study, in vivo data, topical BT protein has penetrated human skin while other known CPP products did not. We have done enzymatic tests um, to see whether our topical BT protein retains the botulinum toxin's ability to cleave snare protein. The results was quite remarkable because not only our topical BT protein retains the ability of botulinum toxin, but also it showed about twofold greater enzymatic activity compared to the normal light chain of botulinum toxin. Also, we confirmed the safety of our uh, topical BT protein by doing WST1 assay with human skin fibroblast, and the results confirmed that topical BT protein did not show any toxicity um, to skin cell even when it is applied in the high concentration. With our topical BT protein, we're making a new innovative anti-wrinkle cosmetic product. We have done small-scale clinical tests to see anti-wrinkle effect of topical BT protein. 
In order to do so, a participant applied the commercially available anti-wrinkle products on the left crow's feet, and on the right side, participant applied our topical BT protein. And we measured wrinkle depth and the total number of wrinkle by using optical 3D measuring system. When participant applied both control and topical BT for two weeks, the control showed no difference in wrinkle depth uh, compared to its week zero data, but our topical BT protein caused 136 micrometer reduction in wrinkle depth. In terms of the total number of wrinkle, at week zero, the total number of wrinkle was 347, but when the topical BT was applied for two weeks, the number has decreased to 54. The anti-wrinkle effect of topical BT protein was showing in the first week of applying, and when the topical BT was applied for four weeks, it caused a maximum 155 micrometer reduction in crow's feet wrinkle depth. And this result was not shown when the commercially available anti-wrinkle products was applied on the same person. Next, we increased our topical BT content up to 20 ppm and applied for a short period of time to test its effectiveness. When 20 ppm of topical BT was applied for three days, it caused 238 micrometer reduction in crow's feet wrinkle death, while control showed no difference. This was also effective and evident on under eye wrinkle, which caused 246 micrometer reduction in wrinkle death. With this result, we applied for Korean patent, and patent has been approved and registered, and also we applied for PCT. Our topical BT protein has been approved and registered in International Cosmetic Ingredient Dictionary, and our work has been recognized and selected as a government-funded R&D project. Kanjin CDP technology has huge potential as a platform technology because it can be used to deliver many small molecular drug, protein drug, and nucleic acid drug. In fact, it can be used in many research areas such as cancer therapy, brain drug delivery, and gene therapy. As of now, the global botulinum toxin market is shared by few key companies, and this $8 million worth of market is becoming a red ocean. But with topical botulinum toxin and CDP technology, Kanjin will become a game changer in the global market. Our company is run by top tier human resources, especially Dr. Choi, our CEO and CTO. He received his PhD in biomedical engineering and biochemistry from University of Massachusetts. And he worked at US Army Natick Soldier Research Development and Engineering Center to study botulinum neurotoxin peptide inhibitor. Also, we are collaborating with many plastic surgery specialists for clinical research. Besides, many highly qualified and experienced researchers are working with us. Our research center and office are located in Seoul National University, and we have a certified BL2 lab where we handle our botulinum neurotoxin experiment. We have a huge R&D network within Seoul National University with Proteum Tech and Chungbuk Techno Park. Like our company's mission statement, we will continuously strive to give you great pleasure and hope through the implementation of innovative biotechnology. Thank you for listening. Thank you for presentation. Any question or comment? No, no. So what, is there any other company which is developing topical botulinum toxin in the globally? Um, globally, uh, uh, according to our research, um, globally, uh, we believe that Revens Therapeutics, they tried to um, making topical botulinum toxin for therapeutic use, mm. but they, um, they went up to, um, they passed uh, phase two clinical tests, but they failed a phase three clinical test. Mm -hmm. And uh, according to our research, we believe that they tried um, to conjugate botulinum toxin and they also use CPP. And they conjugated um, with um, uh, just ionic interaction. So because of, uh, because of that, we're trying the covalent bonding uh, with botulinum toxin and CPP, and we're expecting uh, more uh, effect with that conjugation technology.
Well, so I saw that you have a dramatic effect between the control group and the, your topical botulinum toxin group. Can you design the experiment which left side you can use injection and the right side you can use uh, topical and the seeking the, the comparison data between the injection and the topical application? Uh, we have not tried that yeah. yet, but That's we believe very, that very we can. That's meaningful data for the same person, different you know, administration route. If we show some difference or you know, superiority compared to IV, that would be much better and you know, strong maybe data. Yeah, sure. We absolutely need, need that data, but before that we will need to, um, what is it, determine the content, which sure. content would be, what is it, comparable mm -hmm. with the mm -hmm. injection type. Sure.